Hi friends, it's Mary from Mom Behind the Computer. Today I am here with another digital planner review and today we are going to be taking a look at the iPlanner and we have actually had the opportunity to look at them in three different versions. So I'm really excited to do an overview of this, take a look at these planners and give you a chance to see if these might be the right planners for you. I was asked by commenter Chat Trinidad if I had a review of any of the Digitally Speaking Planners by Sandy Cruz, which is what this iPlanner is. Um, Digitally Speaking is Sandy's company. I did not have any reviews, so I did reach out to Sandy and she was so gracious to give me three copies that I could review for you. She also gave me some great information about her company and about her planners so that I could pass that information onto you in this review so that you can really decide if these are the right planners for you. I did I did receive these planners free of charge so that I could review them for you. However, I am not being paid for anything and all of my thoughts and opinions are my own. I'm going to take a moment and share with you what Sandy had to share about the planners and then we'll jump right in and take a look at all of the features in this planner and do a quick flip through of all three versions. Sandy shared that there are nine eye planners. There are three different themes and so the themes mean like the colors and the design and things like that and there are three layouts of each. So there is the vertical, the horizontal, and the daily. So really, if you are looking for a planner with different options, this is one of the digital planners I've seen with the most options, depending on what you want. She was gracious enough to let us take a look at the vertical, the horizontal, and the daily, all in the same theme so that you can really compare and contrast which one might be best for you. Andy actually started with digital planning back in 2009, so that was way before the iPad Pro and all of those things, and she launched her first digital planner in 2012. So you can definitely say that Sandy is an experienced pro in this business. She even has some users that have been using the planner since it did launch in 2012. Sandy did share that the iPlanners are designed professionally and also coded by professional programmers, which is a bit different than a lot of the digital planners that you'll see out there for sale these days. One other thing you need to know about the iPlanner is that Sandy does have a vibrant iPlanner community on Facebook. So if you are interested in being part of that group and seeing her iPlanner options and also um, learning more about the iPlanner, those groups are focused specifically on the iPlanner and really give you a great chance to see what others are doing with that planner. They are, um, I believe, private groups, if I remember correctly, but you can ask to join and one of those admins will work on getting you added. All right, so there is a little bit of background on the iPlanner and now let's jump in and take a look. I asked Sandy if I could use the McKinsey. Um, I loved the colors in this planner and I really liked how I thought that they would show up on the video for you guys. So um, there are different options and I will be sure to link the page with all of the different style options below. There are some that are less colorful if you don't like that and some that have different colors as well. They're all beautiful. Um, I just opted uh, the McKinsey because I thought that they would look best on the video for you guys. When you open up your eye planner, whichever one that you decide to get, you'll see this blank page. Sandy does uh, offer some covers. I think that some of them are in there. I have not added a cover to any of these. I do have directions on how to add covers in my getting started with digital planning guide, which I will link in the description box below and I'm sure Sandy has some guides as well. But what you get is basically the notebook itself. So if you were buying this in the store, the cover would come separately. You know, on this page, if it was me, I would add, you know, maybe some a quote that I liked or something like that. I've seen some beautiful ones in the iPlanner groups um, that you can use. So this is the front page and you'll see, I'm going to just draw a line as I describe some of these. Up here at the top are sections. Um, so these are tabs that you can use to store notes or stickers or things like that um, when you click on these and we will click on those to go through them and then over here you'll see the um, month tabs so I do like how these are arranged and I have seen um, I have watched quite a bit of what Sandy shares I will link her videos in the description box below too um, but one thing she will do is uh, create custom tabs and add those in there or you can write on them as well um, Sandy has some great guides on how to do this um, more in the eye planner, and I'm not going to get into all of that. Like I said, I'll link her stuff in the description box below, but just so you get an idea of how that works. These are, like I said, um, coded so that they work really well as far as linking. And so you can hit the tabs up here and go into the different sections. Um, I don't have anything in the different sections. I wanted to give you guys a blank review. Um, and another cool thing is when that you hit the monthly tabs, 
they move over here to the left hand side so it looks a lot like a planner like sitting on your lap which is super cool so I really like how that works it really gives it a more um, it gives it a more real life feel which is very awesome um, so we are going to look at the vertical and I am just going to start at the very front here so now that I've talked a little bit about what the tabs do I'm going to um, go through and kind of show you what is available within this planner so then this again is the front page as you flip you go into a two-year spread this is great for forward planning and I love um, the different color schemes so that you can really sort of distinguish each of the months without having to focus too much um, these months are all coded um, and linked so if you click on May 2018 you've got May 2018 there so that is pretty cool um, nice to be able to jump back and forth there. The next page is a forward planning um, page for the year, actually for both years, which is really cool. So if you have something um, that you hear of that comes up for 2019, you can just simply um, write that down there. And then as you plan for the next year, you'll already have those notes down, which is very cool. So the next section looks like a um, monthly tracker. I do not have a lot of experience with one of these, um, but I do really like the idea of having one of these. I could see a lot of applications for it. I'm sure some people have very specific applications that I'm not even going to think of, um, but I could see writing down what your budget was for each day, or I'm sure you could use it as a habit tracker. I believe I saw one when I did a brief flip through, so I'm pretty sure that's probably not what it's for in this application, but you totally could use it as a habit tracker if you wanted to. You could use it, uh, put in when you worked, um, when you worked overtime, things like that. There are a lot of great functions that I could see for this page, which is very cool. So I did th think that I saw a sort of a habit tracker and this is a 365 day challenge. I love this idea. I love that you can um, do a couple of these and you could even copy these pages and add more if you needed to. I did go over that a bit in my getting started with digital planning guide. So you can take a look at that if you're interested. Again, it'll be in the description box below. But I love this idea. I love that you can just shade in the boxes to see how you did. And I love the overview part of this. This is a really great feature that I don't think I've seen in any other digital planners that I've reviewed. Um, so this is really awesome to be able to keep track of your goals and your habits. Okay, it looks like in this section, we are getting into some of what I call the filler paper. So the pages that you can copy and move over into other sections. Um, so that you have notebook paper, unofficial paper. Um, this one is plain, uh, so just a blank page for whatever you wanna use it for. This one has dots, which is very cool. Um, a lot of people use this to uh, bullet journal or things like that. So anything that you wanted to do um, with drawing or anything, I love dotted lines. I think that they're the one of the um, cleanest looking ways to get straight letters and designs and things in a journal format. The next is grid paper, which is great for a lot of things, specifically if you're doing drawings and you're like me, not very artistically inclined. Um, I love using grid paper for that. And this is a regular lined notebook and I have not seen, I have seen grids and dots and other um, planners, but I have not seen just a regular lined notebook. So I love that idea. Um, again, it really makes it feel like this is a very real notebook, really makes me picture some of the high end physical planners that I've seen. And I love that all of these different features are so well thought out and thought of in this planner. So now we are going to get into the months. And um, this was one of the my favorite features that I had in my happy planner when I used it. Um, I'm not currently using my happy planner. And this is one of the things I miss is sort of my monthly dashboard. It's a really fun way to sort of capture uh, what is going on during that month. Um, and I really love the currently section. Um, these are, this is a really awesome feature. And I love that Sandy thought to include it in the eye planner. She also has a different color month. I did notice that as I was flipping through. So we'll take a look at that as we go through our flip through. Um, and I love the theme of that along with the tabs. So this is a very pretty blue for January and it's carried on into the monthly spread. Um, and there's a, great note section, which I think is just essential in a planner, um, especially a digital planner, because um, as I discussed in the course, um, I t make notes here of what I need to do. And then as I am planning out my week, I drag them into the correct section. If I click the day, it goes right to the week section, which is very cool. And if I'm in the week section, I can go back 
to the year by clicking the month and then I can go to the month by clicking the month there. So this is very interactive and um, is a very easy way to flip through your planner as you are doing things. So that is very cool. And again, the theme of the color is brought through in the week. I love that there are three sections. Um, different people have different ways that they like it. This would probably be my preferred method, the vertical. Um, we'll take a look at the horizontal and the daily as well, but um, I love the idea of how this is laid out and it definitely looks very crisp and professional. And as we go through the month, you see we're into green for February for this one and we have the monthly dashboard and it's carried in as well. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick flip through and we're going to go ahead and speed that up so that you guys can take a look through the planner and see if you think that this version may be what you would like as well. Okay, so that is all of the monthly section. You do see that um, she, go has, she goes ahead to close out the year with the first week of 2019, which is awesome. One other thing I wanted to share is if you decide to, um, one thing that I think would be super cool with this eye planner specifically is um, to take the dashboard here and put in photos of the month after the month is over. One thing I love about having a planner, either physically or digitally, is being able to look back on that as sort of like a scrapbook. And I think that that would be really fun is if you take your photos and fill that in um, here on the dashboard with your currently and important dates and things like that um, to look back on as you look through your planners. Um, so that was just an idea that I had that I think would be neat. Um, let's flip through and I'll show you what's here at the back. Um, so here at the back, I believe this is where the sections are located. So there's just some paper um, that you can flip through and you can add more to these sections using the copy and paste method that we talked about before. Um, I do have a video on that in the course um, if you decide to purchase an eye planner and want to see more about how to do that. Um, so that is the vertical McKinsey eye planner. Let's take a look at the horizontal. Again, as you open it, you're going to see that front blank cover. And then this is going to look very similar to the other planner. Um, the only thing I believe is, the only thing that is different is the design of the days. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and flip right to the month. And you'll see the dashboard is the same here. This is essentially the same planner, but the, the days are set out in the month is different, um, which is awesome that there are different options for that because not everyone likes the vertical. Um, I love that there are different options based on what you need. Again, everything is linked and um, works really well together. And there is a month section down here that you can use. So what is different about this is this is a horizontal section. This was the type of planner that I used um, when I first started planning, doing paper planning way back in the day. And I loved it for many reasons. Um, I do personally prefer the vertical now, but I know a lot of people don't prefer the vertical and really like the sort of planning style. So it's very cool that there's an option for that. I'm going to flip through all the months to let you just take a peek at them um, so that you can see if you think the horizontal might be best for you. Again, the other sections are just the same as the original planner, so we won't go through those. Um, let's go on and look at the daily planner. This is something um, that you don't see a lot in a lot of planning options is the daily option. Um, again, it has a monthly spread, which is great. Um, and let's take a look at the daily here. So this is great for people who have a lot going on in a day. Um, you have your task section, your contact section for people you need to call. Um, your hourly schedule here, and then also a note section. Um, I've seen a lot of professionals on the iPlanner 
uh, Facebook group who use this a lot to take notes and to plan out their day. And I think that's really awesome. I'm only going to go through one um, month and I'll go into February just a little bit so you can see how the colors carry through. Uh, but I don't think you need to see 365 days of this, but um, it will give you an idea of what this looks like if you think that the daily is what you need for your planner. So there you have it, the review of the iPlanner by Digitally Speaking. Sandy Cruz has done an awesome job really developing and cultivating uh, a great planner here. This planner looks exactly like a beautiful planner that you would pick off the shelf in a store and works wonderfully as a digital planner, great with links and a lot of really well thought out options within the um, planner itself. We'll have links to the Digitally Speaking store in the description box so that you can go and pick up your own eye planner if you feel like this planner is the right fit for you. Again, I did receive these copies free of charge so that I could review them for you, but I did not get paid for my review and I do not get any sort of commission if you decide to purchase one. If you'd like to see more digital planning videos, please be sure to hit the subscription box. I will have more digital planning videos as I go through my journey. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.